Hi everyone. Good morning, this is Amma. Uh, today again I am here to share my real life experiences with you and I am going to uh, share my experiences uh, being a first time gardener. So today I am going to uh, uh, basically sow in spinach uh, seeds. Uh, what I have experienced from my last 8 years experiences that spinach are uh, one of the easiest vegetables to grow in your uh, garden. They doesn't need too fertile soil, at least as per my experience, and a little manure uh, uh, can be added to your existing soil and that can help you uh, grow sp spinach. One biggest, uh, I would say, advantage of growing spinaches is that uh, it's not a one-time crop. You can cut spin uh, sp uh, spinaches and then they will again grow uh, and you can uh, basically harvest the crop multiple times. For me, uh, the one I harvested, I think I, I had uh, uh, harvested it for at least five times. So every time I cut it, in another 15-20 days, the new leaves will uh, grow grow in. So it's, it's I would say it's a very good crop. You don't need too much expertise. Uh, just put some seeds in the soil and uh, here you go. So let me show you what I do. So what I've done is, if you see, basically I have uh, made up a bed. What I've done is, in my garden, I have put some manure on top of it. If you see um, the black uh, soil or black manure which you see, right, that that is what I have mixed with. Uh, uh, that is what I have mixed with the uh, soil. And now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some uh, straight lines and then I am uh, going to put some seeds in it and then cover it with the same uh, manure so that uh, basically uh, those are covered and then we'll simply water them and then we'll have to wait uh, for uh, next uh, couple of weeks for the seeds to uh, cultivate and, and grow. So let me show you what how I do it. So basically what I'll do is I will use these sticks basically, long sticks, straight sticks to make some straight lines. Say for example, I will make a line like this. Put some pressure and then you will see a straight line like this so this helps us basically put seeds in a straight line so that they are not growing in a haphazard manner and they will grow in a straight path and it also becomes easy to basically uh, distribute them and put them uh, basically uh, say 15 centimeters apart as as basically it has been mentioned in the uh, packet so if you see there will be some instructions in the uh, behind which will say say how far you can put and how deep you need to sow like in this case it is 10 mm and you can sow them in May uh, March April June, July and you can harvest until October. So it's a good crop. You can sow it uh, now. I think it's the best time to do it and then you can harvest at least until October. So let me put some seeds. Uh, before we do that, let me show you. So if you see, this is how these seeds look. They are pretty big so it it is not very difficult to sow them either. So let me show you how I do it. I'll put it at a even distance.
So if you see, I have put the seeds in a straight line. So now I will make a similar uh, three another rows, and I'll make another three similar rows, and then I'll do the same thing. Let me do that. Now once I have uh, done that, what I'll do is I'll put some manure on top of it. So basically I will cover the entire bed with some uh, manure. I will just uh, drop it uh, like this. Just some manure. And with soft hands, then I will simply basically even the surface out, not too much pressure. Any stones uh, or any unwanted uh, things that you don't want, you can remove them. And just to make sure that no unwanted crops are uh, coming in uh, along with your vegetables, just make sure that you remove all the roots before when you make the bed, uh, soil bed. So what I've done is I've removed all these uh, uh, basically from the soil. It was like this, something like this, because it, re it has been quite a while, right, uh, since uh, we have planted uh, after the summer. Um, so basically it is, it is like this in the other beds. So I'll have to clean it uh, slowly and steadily to basically uh, make it uh, good enough for the for us to put some more seeds uh, like I'll plant uh, tomatoes and um, some other vegetables down the line. So of course I am going to share my experiences for those two. But now what I've done is I've made four rows basically uh, and I've I think uh, put an hour, around 50, 50 seeds basically today. And now I think it will take a couple of weeks basically for, for the seeds to germinate. Another hack or you can say I don't want to invest too much uh, being in a rented accommodation. So what I've done is uh, this is a uh, milk bottle and I have made some holes in top of uh, the cap with this kind of screwdriver if you see. It has a pointed nose. Uh, and I have uh, used some, made some uh, basically holes. So now what it happens is it, it gives water like this, basically. It acts like a, if you see, let me show you in a better way. So it will, it will not basically disturb your crops down the line, right? It will not. Uh, put water or throw water in a um, extreme manner where they might hamper the seeds saplings right when when they are young so basically you can also use this hack just use a bottle and put some uh, holes in it and then you can basically water the plants which you have uh, planted especially in their initial days so we'll not put too much water because again uh, this is one crop uh, that uh, doesn't need too much water. We will only water it when when we see uh, there is really uh, the need, uh, depending on how much sun uh, is coming in the next few days. Um, if there is rain around, then of course you don't need to water. So this is how it looks basically on day one. So today basically is um, 31st of March and then as soon as I can see some small um, saplings hopefully and then uh, uh, I will also share the updates as to how much d days it took for the seeds which we have planted to germinate. Thank you for, uh, so much and we'll meet again after a few days. Have a good day. Hi, good morning, welcome back. Uh, so it has been two weeks uh, since I uh, sowed the seeds and uh, seeds have started germinating. So good news. Uh, let me show you. 
so if you see i have put on a small netting um, over uh, the seats why because uh, initially in the beginning uh, the seats and and the small plants are very fragile and uh, there are a lot of insects in your garden or flies basically which eat up uh, your uh, baby plants once they grow up uh, maybe in another 15 20 days then probably they won't be able to harm them but until basically they grow so it is advisable to save them from all uh, these flies or or the insects that are there in your garden which might eat up your baby plants so let me remove the netting and then i'll show you uh, the actual germination so now when i have removed uh, the netting if you see So if you can see the small green plants that have come up this is after the 15 days and slowly and steadily these will grow into big plants big spinach so again to summarize right uh, spinach is one crop which based on my one years experience is very easy to grow and it doesn't needs very fertile soil also plus the biggest advantage is that we can have multiple crops a multiple cuttings from my spinach it's not a one time crop every time um, the leaves are big enough you can cut them and on the same plant again the new leaves will grow and you can again harvest so you can harvest multiple times the spinach crop so i think that's the biggest advantage with the spinach so as you can see we have uh, put four lines and in all four lines a few few plants have started germinating and i think in another 15 days we will have a very good growth and i will again get back with the final set of updates so yeah i will keep on updating but yes we have made good progress in these 15 days so um again as i said we will meet again after another 15 days or so and i'll show you the growth but if you want to uh, start uh, i i would say start now because uh, this is the ideal season and by the time i will share another update uh, hopefully your seeds will start germinating Uh, so i don't want to wait uh, for the entire harvest to, to post the video so uh, probably i'll post it uh, today uh, but as i said uh, you also can start harvesting again it doesn't needs uh, um, too much fertilizers and stuff like that based on my experience whatever garden soil i had i just uh, planted some seeds and then i got a good harvest last year so again i'm not a professional gardener but i'm just trying to share my experiences based on what what i have uh, uh, basically tried growing in the last one year or so and this is uh, one of the easiest and i would say the best uh, crop that i was able to grow without uh, much experience and without any hassles thank you i'll get back uh, with another update in um, another 15 20 odd days Have a good day. Happy gardening.